Hey guys, this is Spiro. I got a big GC Math update right now. Now, GC Math is the protein that is regarded as a universal cancer cure. Now, this protein, this GC Math, is at the center of all these dead doctors that have been turning up or disappearing. It's at the center of their research, the center of their work, and the treatments. Not only does GC Math allegedly cure cancer, it also cures a whole other list of ailments, including autism, diabetes, hepatitis. The list goes on and on and on. Now, I'd like to quickly touch on this very important situation here as a holistic healer has put out an urgent message for help. It says, this urgent life-threatening situation for Amanda Mary and GC Math. Now, Amanda Mary has found herself in a foreign country, basically held up, fearing for her life. She has treated cancer patients with GC Math, and herself was a cancer patient, a, a cancer survivor at this point. Now, she feels that she's being targeted along with these other doctors for her work with GC Math. Now, since she's arrived down in the Dominican, her life has been threatened. Multiple media outlets have come out and claimed that she was responsible basically for killing children and on the run and scamming people and all this and that. All those links, everything's in this article here that she posted that I'm going to leave. She doesn't pull any punches. She posts a lot of articles that say a lot of horrible bad things about her. Now you can go through and read it and see it for yourself. Now, the fact that she has the courage to post, post it all, let it all hang out there, that says a lot to me. Now, a lot of what they have to say about, they're accusing her of basically selling people phony cancer cures, selling them bleach and uh, MMS and all this and that. Well, from what I gather from all this and the information that I'm getting is that Amanda warned a group that she was associated with about MMS enemas and how they're not safe. Shortly after that, she was targeted, and it has escalated from there to the point to where she's saying that she's falsely accused. Now, these news reports have not only surfaced in her home country, but also in the country that she's in right now. These reports have gotten the locals up in arms, and she's received death threats and is in fear for her life and held up hiding. The local authorities will not help her, and she is unable to get a response from her authorities back home, law enforcement back home, to get them to clear her name. All she's asking for is, hey, can you guys send a letter saying that I'm not under investigation? Because as far as I know, I'm currently not under any investigation. They refuse to do so at this point. Now, in all these articles that I've read, there is no mention of GC math in any of them. They only mention MMS. No mention of GC math. So why is that? Well, is that because of the connection between GC math and all these dead doctors that are turning up and the threats on her life and they don't want to raise any more attention to that? Is it because it actually works and they don't even want to utter those words, those letters, the, that name, they don't even want to utter it because it could spell the whole collapse of the house of cards of their bullshit business. Regardless, this woman has put a call for help. I felt it necessary to spread the word because I would want someone to do the same if I was out there screaming bloody murder for help at the top of my lungs. Spread this information. Get this word out there. One more very important piece of information, I will be doing an interview very soon with a very important special guest.
that is directly involved. There will be bombshell information. I guarantee you that. This is Spiro. Much love. Hey, I know some of you people out there may perhaps be skeptical about the story about this lady claiming her life's in danger. Well, let me just put a little cross of the T and a dot of the I to the story here so you'll know exactly what this lady is about, who she is, where she's at, and what's going on. She sends me an email telling me she's been desperately trying to contact me for the last four days, right? Uh, she told me that on her Twitter right here. I've been trying to find you for past four days. I told her, email me. Let's let us I'll try to help you out all that I can. And right here, she had been in contact with Jeff Bradstreet uh, together on a Combi GMA, GCMAF protocol, right? Now, I'm noticing that she was talking about GCMAF, but even way before my video came out, right? She was talking about GCMAF. So she talks all through here about how she was uh, uh, with that right there, right? Um, she sends me these uh, uh, Twitters about uh, th that she is in Dominica, right? She, t she sends me also a email talking about this uh, church that had to do with a, a posting in her webpage. This is the church, Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing, dated back from January 5th, 2014. She left the church or was kicked out of the church because this health and healing had to do with autism that they wanted them to give the kids two enemas a day. She says, no, 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 that's dangerous. It'll dry out their colons. Don't do that. And these people who are like, oh, well, we do. I do it two times a day and it's perfectly fine. Whatever the case may be that was going on between her and the church, she's no longer with the church because of this fact. And it's dated right here from January 5th, 2014. But not Amanda Mary. She just issues what she decides she knows to be right and true, and I have no say in it. But everyone considers her to be a part of the church, so her statements of technology appear to have the weight of the church behind her. So let me mention the damage that has been done. Everyone knows Carrie Rivera that there are now more than 6,000 children with autistic symptoms. And they go on. I read it all through here. And it was their plan to give the ki these kids with autism two enemas a day, which she was vehemently against. So many parents giving too many enemas to children with autism. This is causing long-term damage to the colon and drying the walls. Right? That's what Mary was saying to them. How would she know that? She has not recovered a single autistic child, they say, right? Okay. So that was dated January, uh, 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 from 2014, January 2014, right? Okay, so she tells me that she is in, this is the case. She tells me that she is stuck in Dominica right now and that basically her life is in danger because... What was going on in the United Kingdom and all everything that stems with GCMAF that she was working with, that she was talking to Jeff Bradstreet about, and they reported in the news in the United Kingdom that she was actually uh, uh, providing some kind of bleach, uh, uh, some kind of bleach laced potion as a miracle cure. That's what they called it, that she was saying that it was a miracle cure that it was laced with bleach, which doesn't have a ring of truth to it because she was all about, no, don't give them two enemas a day. It'll dry out the colon. It's not good for them. She would know that bleach is not good for the human body. There's no way that I'm believing that she would even say anything like that, nor am I going to believe the United Kingdom and their news, right? Here is Amanda Mary Jewell, and she sets the record straight. There's two stories right here. July 7th, 27th, 2015, and July the 29th, she stated to me in there that she, in an email, uh, I got one of them here. That she's right here talking about that she's in a wheelchair. Um, I am disabled. I am in a white woman in a wheelchair that cannot be smuggled out of a window without notice. We are barricaded in a small hotel room in the Dominica. We are receiving constant death threats. No UK agency will help. I, uh, the police say I am a murderer of children. I deserve what I get. They're saying I deserve what I get. The press here say until the UK print different, they are not 
repeating their story. They are only repeating what the UK stories are stating, right? Here she is right here. British woman flees to Dominica after UK medical probe described as dangerous. Isn't that what they've been doing with uh, the, the, the probes by the FDA here in the United States when they went after Mr. Bradstreet and others where they raided their offices looking for GCMAF? Remember, I told you that Amanda, uh, Mar uh, uh, excuse me, Amanda Mary Jewell was even talking about GCMAF before she even left it for Dominica and even before I made my video. So that was the centerpiece of her research. All this stuff about bleach lace potions is bullshit, everybody. It's complete bull crap. They're lying. A British woman who's being investigated in Britain for selling potions containing bleach as a miracle cure for cancer and autism over the internet has reportedly fled to Dominica after authorities began a probe into her activities. It is reported that Amanda Mary Jewell hopes to set up shop for her controversial alternative medicine business in Dominica. According to published reports in the Express in the UK, trading standards officials in Britain raided her $3 million home in Farnham, Surrey last month and warned her that it was against the law to offer unapproved treatments for cancer. Isn't that exactly what we saw with Jeff Bradstreet? You, we are raiding your office because you were working with GCMAF. The FDA has not approved that treatment for cancer. Wait a minute, look at this. They're not what the look at what look at what the freaking the article states, people. They're stating that her office or her home was raided for an unimproved treatment for cancer. It doesn't say anything about a dangerous bleach laced uh, 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 treatment for cancer. It says an unapproved treatment. Absolutely GCMAF if you ask me. Absolutely. What is unapproved and will never be approved? That's right, GCMAF. It's never going to be approved, people. It is further reported that she spends time in her home in Surrey in her healing clinic in Bulgaria where she dispatches her medicine to customers around the world. Now it appears that Jules in Dominica where she has been posting photos of herself on Facebook. And I am in Dominica looking uh, at opening a new center, she said in a Facebook post. But advocates of autism and cancer are sounding the alarm that Jewel is posing a danger because of a medicine she sells called MMS. Miracle Mineral Solution. And I'm just telling you here that that's what they're claiming here. She is making huge profit from experimenting on autistic children and also those who are suffering from serious illness such as cancer and AIDS. What did I say in my video? What was Jeff Bradstreet all about? It wasn't just about autistic children. It was about cancer with Dr. Gonzalez. It was autism and cancer with Dr. Bradstreet. And GCMAF is known to work on what? That's right. Cancer, AIDS, and autism. All three of the classic signs, and they mention it right here. Right here. This is all about GCMAF, folks. And this person right here who's in the Dominica is in high, high amount of danger. Right? Because she could potentially blow the whistle on exactly what's going on with GCMEF. And right now, she appears to be stuck in a motel room with a few of her family members, and they can't even come out because they are scared for their freaking lives, all because of what Dominica is reporting in their news out there about her, which we can see is all about GCMEF, right? Absolutely. Here's the other story right here. Dominica Online, July 29th. Seeking to set the record straight, denying published reports that she is the subject of a probe in Britain. And we saw all of her, uh, uh, the other in my other uh, video that I just posted about her, where she was talking about um, the, the standards, right? Uh, the uh, whatever you call it. Um, I, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Anyway, trading standards officials and is planning to set up shop here to continue selling her controversial medication. But in an interview with DNO, Jewel has shot down the allegations saying she is not being probed in the UK and has not been selling a bleach-based cure for cancer, as it is being alleged. She also states that the home was not raided. She claims they simply were invited in for a chat. 
She stated the whole conversation is recorded and proves she was not the person under investigation. I am saying that this is 100% not true. She stated there are no investigations in my name in the UK or in any other country. I'm not being investigated. She stated the house which was mentioned in the express report does not belong to her. It wasn't even my house that they came to. She remarked it was a mistake. I was simply staying at that house at the time. I don't own that house. And according to the reports, the church has been selling MMS. Miracle Mineral Solution, and I see right there that she has no longer been affiliated with the church for quite a while. So they're labeling her with that church for this MMS and should not be labeling her because she has been touting GCMAF even before I came out with my video. I am not part of that church. That church threw me out for telling everybody that the enema protocol is dangerous. It must never be done, she stated. And as I showed you right here, here is that enema story right here. For the time being, it is unknown what part of Dominica Jewel is located. Uh, Dominica News Online will contact health authorities on this matter as to whether they are aware of the presence of Jewel in Dominica and her plans to sell alternative medicine here. Do you see now why she's in danger, everybody? GCMAF, and if they want to silence her, they don't even have to lift a finger to do her harm. All they have to do is lie, 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 lie. And there are people out there that will take care of it for her under the pretext of that lie, right? I apologize for getting so animated, but um, let's take a look at one of, uh, let's see uh, what we can see about her here. Here she is. We are in the island of Dominica in the West Indies. I want to tell you this island has free things, bloody free. Look at this, bananas. Not from a shop. Oh, oh no. Them bananas, they're growing on the tree. Just everywhere. Look, look at this. Look here. Banana. Just look, look. You peel it. You eat it. We've had too much. I'll we'll throw it away and they'll bloody grow again. Free food. Look, Karen. Look up here. Avocado. I'll leave links right here, and you can see all of the comments that were made right here uh, to, regarding the story of this uh, Dominica News Online. I have met Amanda Mary. I know she is not a member of the church, and the church actually only do good. Amanda Mary is a cancer researcher with a wealth of knowledge. I would have thought she was a gift to your island. She has also helped many come back from end-stage cancer. Yes. All of these comments right here, and they're... A bunch of comments, all in favor of her. All you have to do is just come take a look. I do not know you, neither do I want to take sides, but I think we have a problem on this island. We are so full of negativity, hatred, and anger that we force ourselves downward. I am not a thief. Uh, she's responding here. Um, so anyway, check it all out, and you'll see that this is absolutely uh, right on the money uh, as far as who she claims to be. All right, thanks, everybody. Hey, first off, I want to give a shout out to Chad for bringing this to me very quickly, and I really do appreciate that. So let's get right into this really quick. My intent when I uploaded the video regarding the real reason for the deaths and the vanishings of the holistic uh, uh, medical uh, practitioners is to save anybody from being hurt anymore. We've already saw the deaths of approximately... Uh, seven and we saw the, uh, uh, like five of them vanish right and just in short span of time obviously somebody out there was very very concerned about some information making its way out there into the public and we took care of that didn't we that's what that's what i set out to do was to get that information out there to the public to let them know exactly what the big farmers were doing what the vaccinations was all about and what the a couple of those holistic doctors found and that they had shared with colleagues that got them killed, right? There are still a whole, a holistic practitioners out there whose lives are still in danger. So I'm going to request of you again, please, everybody, share, mirror, share, mirror, whatever you have to do. Keep doing what you have to do because there's another person out there asking for our help. And isn't that what we're here for? If we're going to help alert everybody about the dangers, let's get out here and alert everybody of a danger to somebody, right? Amanda Mary on her Twitter says, I am in serious danger. Please help by emailing trading standards, right? 
Amanda Mary Jewell had contacted Trading Standards because some of her findings regarding GCMAF that she had shared and she found that she was under investigation or possibly that she heard she was under investigation and she felt her life was in danger after what was going on with these other holistic doctors and quite possibly some of the information she may have seen or was presented to her through some of the videos that we have produced here um, uh, you know with Dr. Brower coming out and 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 and, and pretty much uh, explaining it in medical uh, medical terms exactly what I was trying to tell everybody in my video and he did much better of a job at it than I could have of course I don't have a medical background right so anyway let me get you right down to the bare bones of it here. Here's her, the Facebook page right here, and I'll leave a link for that. And Mother Nature and You, and she's based out of the United Kingdom. And she's got quite a few posts here, very concerning indeed. Um, talks about uh, caged artistic children, appear, appeals for assistance, Mother Nature and You, Mother Nature and You, right? And we get right here. Mother Nature and You, Cancer Cure Alternatives. And posted by Amanda Mary in GCMAF, information coming soon. Please read and understand the severity of this. She goes on to state, uh, uh, she's sending emails to Trading Standard Officer. My name is Amanda Mary Jewell, previous address. I have tried relentlessly to contact any member of your team. I have left messages, emails, but no reply. And this situation is now life-threatening. The time difference and long-distance dialing, no signals be become a problem. Our lives are now put in danger due to your actions. If it were not for their liable comments, this would not happen. The situation is that people here now believe that I am murdering children with bleach. So somebody is putting out some kind of bogus information regarding her, and it has to do with some kind of church thing. And what I do believe is, is that she was going to blow the whistle on something that was going on with children, anema with children, and then they, they really just slaughtered her name, right? She goes on to state right here. Um, I was indeed a member of this church prior to, however, when I discovered the harmful effect of anemas on children, I wrote publicly and was publicly slaughtered and the church discredited me. I have never since been involved with the church since. Uh, yes, I allowed this friend to use of a room in my home. I can categorically say that Archbishop Mark Grennan is also 100% against the use of anemas and the protocol gaining media attention. So she goes on to ask them. Through an email dear mrs jewel this is the response thank you for your emails of 30 and your request for information if you feel threatened or are receiving threats for any reason you should inform the local police immediately and it says right here i am unable to confirm or deny that you or have been under investigation by this service so take a look at all these links and see what you can do to uh, spread this information far far and wide and i want to thank you all for sticking with this